Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. This is Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit and this is our daily reading. I actually already did two daily readings and I deleted them because um, it was just hitting home, okay? <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> I picked a different deck and I'm using the good tarot. Today's the 29th. <laughs> Let's see this on both of those videos and it's coming out again. Seven of Swords. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. So, today's date and the death card also came out in both those readings. I'm seeing it again. Today's date is the 29th, and that it will break down to the Justice card, okay? And uh, getting clarity of mind about things, being honest, having integrity. Happy birthday to all of you. Uh, Sagittarians, by the way, before I forget that. Um, and the sun right now is in a sign of justice itself. It's about truth and integrity. It's about protection. It's about cycles. And I've seen the Wheel of Fortune. And then I've seen the sun card. Uh, I, I've seen corresponding cards come out on both those readings. So I'm sure, you know, if the energy is still here, it's still here. I've already seen a couple as well with this deck, just in pre shuffle already. Uh, this is about facing truth, guys, and putting a judgment on something here. Ending cycles and beginning things. Balancing the scales in all uprightness and not being biased. Okay, it's about partnerships and things like that. You know, knowing that you got to do it. 29 is karmic energy really we're looking at well and we're looking at the you know ninth house is karmic and then the, the justice card is right after the will of fortune card in the deck and that's very that's karmic back to back stuff we just came out of scorpio energy that was karmic energy everything all day long is karmic in our charts but it, it's it's really being magnified today secrets the 29 is the 2 and the 9. Well, we already talked about the ninth house that we're in. The 2 is the high priestess. Mint events. Karmic activity is mint events. Reaping and sowing. Cause and effect. Right? Whatever you sowing and reaping. I don't care what title you put on it. it. It is, you do this, this happens. Or you do this to somebody and you don't think this is going to happen. It will come back around because what comes around goes around. Okay, whether it was past life stuff or passed down generationally, I don't care, karmic activity, the skills are going to be balanced. Whether people like that or not, the skill will be balanced. You and I cannot escape that. People think that they can be on the run and think they get away with things, and they don't. And they're not, because they're in their own mind, even if, if you know, even if they're trying to hide it for a time with other people, they're really in their own mind about it. And it's time to face things. And I know people have been coming together for Thanksgiving and will be also today and all weekend doing that. So happy Thanksgiving to those of you who are celebrating today. And I hope that you are able to mend things in all uprightness with your families and friends and partnerships. And get some clarity and have some mutual uh, um, agreement in some things. It's inevitable fate that we're in. Okay? But there's protection and truth. There's protection and truth. So let's go ahead and see what is the, what the energy is today. I'll just do a different clip. What the energy is. What's the positive around this energy. What's negative that you need to either bypass or be aware of or address. And then the outcome, depending on you know your free will and what spirit wants you to do and how to respond and listen to your intuition the 29 is the high priestess but you listen to your intuition but it also takes you back to the moon so we have to be careful and really discern a thing the ninth higher arcana the 29 the nine is the hermit itself it's also already found within the high priestess energy okay so thank you sweet divine i know i'm being serious but i i, I really those two videos that i did really hit home What do we need to know? Okay. Justice comes up. Amazing to me. 
What is it? What's the truth? How do you balance the scales? How can you look in your mirror and, and be a person of integrity and get out of this bloody war? If you look, this sword's down. We know there's been lies and deception on, in, in some people's cases. And it's been a bloody war. And some, some things have literally been death itself. But there's justice here. There's karmic activity here in today's date. There's knowledge here about things. Scales being balanced in a very big way. What's positive is the emperor. And I've seen the emperor in, in both of those other readings. This is positive. Taking charge. Giving aid. The emperor has conviction. Okay. Well, we know that the emperor has a counterpart. Okay, that energy. It's the emperor and the empress, right? Energy. Mother, father, figure of the universe. This is in the positive place. Justice is part of the empress herself, so something's widely known. This is a, the, the, it represents the universe energy. Okay, the, the, the emperor energy is the king of the universe not the jungle the universe okay this isn't a person but yet it is it's many people as well that know that they have balancing inside of them because the emperor has all four of the kings within him the counterpart to this has all four queens within her okay the masculine and feminine balancing the polaric balance and i was talking on that other video that some people are not balanced in their mind they're not balancing their emotions. We're in a season of balancing itself. The ninth house is about balancing, having the higher mind of something. This is a warring energy, and this is what the, the Spirit's saying is positive. Taking action, being a leader, being someone who is in control and have power and structure and clear-headed. It's about being clear-headed. Not in your freaking bloody mind and wanting to war and, and kill for negative things. This is putting things to rest that are positive for upright things. Getting the wicked out of the earth. Not accepting wicked things and then being in an imbalance and injustice and allowing the wicked to live and killing the uh, upright something's very much wrong with that and this is about society itself with the emperor this represents a public figure something known what's negative i will tell you that the queen of cups energy in my very first read came this is manipulation if it's in the negative and i was picking that up in my first read now i kind of wish i didn't delete that but it was in the position of what the Spirit said would fix this. And what you need to do to fix a situation here that has been unjust. Well, if the Emperor is somebody who takes war and is a father figure and is a protector because this represents protection and so does Jupiter. And the law is supposed to be a protector. Then there's been some manipulation going on here. But it was in the position that the Spirit said to fix this, to deal with this, the manipulation, the lack of looking at something. You know, often we get those two of swords that are crossweighed and the person's got their mind shut and won't look at something. They're in a stalemate and they're, this is manipulation. If this is in the negative and it is, somebody's got an imbalance in their emotions. They don't know, they're, they're just, they're, they don't want to look at something. They can't. She got her mind closed. You know, if this was in the positive, I'd have to read it as somebody who's loving and kind knows how to go within, close those eyes, and get the answer. But it's in the negative spot, you guys. That's somebody who's passive aggressive. Somebody who's real sulky, childish. And I went it my way. And they're sitting in a position of a queen. Some people are born with a silver spoon in their mouth and have something over titled over them. This could just be a mother. This is negative. Something with a mother is negative. For some of you, what's negative 
is a person being manipulative here. What's a negative is somebody is being manipulative to your mother. You know, could be so, this could be read so many different ways. But there's something with this Queen of Cups that is not right or that is hurtful or that is being hurt. Something here. And there's been a lot of manipulation because we see it here in this justice card where the blood, life is in the blood. And some people want your life itself. And the emperor will get up and give aid because he's got conviction. Some of you are watching a person do this and sitting by and... and it, that's why the emperor is sitting here and what's positive. He's, he's looking over it. The heavenly father's looking over everything. And if this is also energy in the upright, that's also negative. Like I was saying, some people are being manipulated and some people are on the side where they are upright and have to go within to fight because of manipulation. It goes both ways, but it's in the negative. The emperor will get up and, and fight for his baby doll. Okay? I always say that. Give me an outcome. Some people put people in the dark. That's negative where they couldn't see, her eyes are closed. If I'm reading this in a negative spot, but the but yet, it's something's very emotional here. <clears throat> There's an imbalance, and people have caused other people to be in an imbalance in their life as well. It goes both ways. The Nine of Pentacles. We've got people that are lonely, People that their money has been uh, an issue. Now, the Nine of Pentacles came out of my second read. This is about inheritances. This is about having a comfortable lifestyle, being disciplined, being alone. It's a single person or somebody who's been segregated. This is pot. This can be positive or negative, depending on what you do with it. Because this person also, we got people that are lonely, that are in marriages, that are wearing a mask, and we got people that are alone and showing up and having to uh, put their face on and smile through it anyway. But they're really lonely on the inside, and some people have been manipulated to be there. And some people, this is that person, and they have to close their eyes because of the manipulation and just show up anyway. And through time, it's just, it's, the pentacles is a long time. It's time, energy. There's so many ways that this energy can be read, but because of what I've seen, and we got the death card coming up again. There's been a transformation, or there needs to be a transformation. I want to see um, what this Queen of Cups comes up in the negative. Show me the uh, manipulation part of this negative because uh, um, this energy in the negative is being both ways. For some of you, this is a person who is literally in your life that's nothing but a damn manipulator. For some of you, this is a mother, because we have the emperor here, that is going through something where they've been shut out or segregated or something like that, and they've had to really go within and use the intuition because the Queen of Cups can also represent uh, uh, intuition. A teacher or a somebody who's a nurturer or a nurse or somebody who's in a, in a, in a high position. So we got some people who are in high positions also taking advantage of their positions. And won't look at something that's going on here. That's very tangibly happening. This is tangible stuff. Matter. There's a matter here. And some people have got their eyes closed that won't look at it. And some people have to close their eyes and go within to figure out a thing transformation something's got to come to an end 
the death card came over this uh, Queen of Cups in my first reading along with the Five of Pentacles. I will say that. Show me the negative side of, a, of the manipulating people in this spot. Show me what the manipulation and the passive-aggressive negative part of this card is. The Queen of Earth. Money, position, stubbornness. If this is in the negative, this has a meaning of being jealous and stubborn. She's got stars in her head, so somebody knows. There's manipul This person knows they're manipulating. They're stubborn. They're jealous. court cards come out here. Show me what's upright about the upright queens of cups or people taking on the intuitive side, please spirit, but they're but they are in a negative place. The two of swords. Delmate decisions. This person in the upright trying to go within and trying to make a decision because of this person's stubborn and jealous as hell. Put this person in a place, the upright that are in a negative place, to have to try to make a decision. They don't know which way to go. Because something's been unjust with them. There's been lies. This bitch needs to be taken care of. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Show me the nine of earth. Show me the nine of pentacles. Actually, show me what the emperor is going to do. Please, Spirit, show me what the Emperor is going to do. What action will the Emperor take? He's going to put a judgment on something. Past life people, generational things soulmates, second chances, if these were legalities, we got legal stuff here as well, There, there's some type of understanding with this card, it's karmic activity happening here. Tell me what's going to, see this is about somebody trying to make a decision but can't because they've been segregated. There's transformation though in something here. And the negative queen here is nothing but a damn jealous wreck. Stupid. What? I, I say that because people don't realize that, you know, why are you jealous of other people? Don't you know the divine made you to be you? Well, it has a lot to do with people's psychology in their mind. In the negative with this manipulator, their mind, had, in childhood, and people see this, the emperor is somebody to take control in society. He's very clear-headed. Pluto represents, you know, all kinds of stuff. Other people's money, property, right? Uh sexual things we got mother figures here okay being manipulated and uh people being stubborn and being put in a place of a stalemate maybe both of these women are now or 
energies are stalemate because of judgments that were made in a negative way. Lies and deception. We already seen the seven swords at the beginning of the pre shuffle, and I seen it in the other two readings. Lie is a lie. And some people who sit in high authorities because of stubbornness and jealousy can come to a person and lie. And because of where they sit, because people don't know how to go within and find the answer from within to make a true judgment, they believe that person just because of where they sit. It's a damn shame. But this emperor is going to give another judgment. There's a judgment. I've been saying that. I've also been saying somebody's coming, going to jail. Okay? And we know that that happened in society. It happens every day. But th this huge, we know that it is because the emperor is a huge figure. This is the heavens taking control. If you can't sit in your authority and do the correct things, the heaven will make you do it or move you out of the way and say, I'll put somebody in there that will do something upright because you're just nothing but a damn bloody mess in your position. You're a manipulator. If these are two people, some people, uh, the, the Spirit just said some people are in cahoots together. Well, we know that. <laughs> we know that. The emperor is going to put a judgment on something. Somebody's having an awakening. Here. Show me the nine of pentacles. A lot. Yes. 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 Well, this card showed up in the second reading. People who are, you know, self-pity and frustrated and crying over spilt milk and regret and remorse and needing forgiveness. And they're bitter. Some people are bitter. Je jealousy over what? Hell, I don't know. I guess inheritances, money, uh, what the hell ever. Uh, we got the moon. We already know there's been deception, but I do love that there is uh, stars within this moon card. Knowledge. The stars come out after the towers come down. Okay, the will is turning, and there's going to be healing after a broken heart, and this, uh, the mind's going to be able to be balanced out. There's 14, 14 is the temperance card itself, and this is healing after a broken heart, and this is blowing it away, and it's been nothing but a damn brutal mess, because the truth is coming out. This is also the law, and this is all clarifying this nine of pentacles here. There's a big damn transformation happening, because the emperor's getting involved. Emperor's getting involved. So if you couldn't turn around and get healed, and I'm going to say this again. These people here that are sitting in these positions that have, you know, have knowledge. Because look, the Queen of Pentacles has knowledge. Okay, now in the upright, there are also people that also in the negative, they are upright, but they're in a negative situation they have knowledge of things as well and they've been in the stalemate spirit also wants me to say that so for some of you that that's also the case um trying to figure out a thing the emperor's gonna come in and make a judgment on something this is all clarifying this nine of pentacles here this stability this being alone this discernment this being prudent these goals being attained even in segregation or being by yourself or lonely or whatever this is. There's success here with this card. And we see it here. In this season, there's stars all over here. So this person who's had knowledge of things that they've done in the negative, bloody negative stuff. Well, there's one higher than this bitch. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. That's got stars all over the wheel that's going to come heal this thing. And from this deception, throw the true stars down that is dated, uh, fated and destined to be harmonious in a situation, to be able to balance out the scales. So 14 is about balancing. It's the temperance. And we got Jupiter itself balancing. We've got the overall energy about balancing as well and these two cards run together in the tarot itself okay 
and the wheel goes either way. So depending on where you stand, if you don't turn around real quick, quit crying over this bullshit, the judgment's on you. You're going to go jail. You, you are going to jail. We've got undercover things coming to the surface here. Look at all this. We've got all three zodiac signs that run right into one another in the wheel itself. And the wheel shows up and things are damn moving now. We're an immutable sign. This is over. It's showing that it's over. Better brace yourself because there's a big transformation coming. So this, obviously, the spirit, uh, and this heart's going to get uh, mended. And the people, like I was going to say, there are people in their mind because they're mental. They're mental. They're imbalanced. There's an imbalance, okay? And some people have deliberately pointed the finger and said that kind of stuff to other people, and they weren't. They weren't. Uh, there are people that are mental in their mind because uh, whatever, their psychology, okay? And they need help. And I said that on both of my videos, and I'm saying it again because obviously let every word be established in two or three witnesses. It's the third witness that this has come out. So there's a judgment being made. Like I said, somebody needs their heart fixed. And some people have put people in places where now their heart has been completely shattered because of their shattering. Because of their imbalance. Because of their uh, positions that were uh, abused. They abused their own position. Anyway, the emperor's putting a judgment on something. It's funny because we've got the 20 here. That is still 11 showing up here. The emperor is a 4. <laughs> That's 11-11. It's judgment day. It is Judgment Day, and this thing's coming to an end. Shalom, y'all.